Now we're going to discuss one more theorem that results from Kolmogorov's axioms. So this theorem says, uh, let A be an event in S and B be an event in S. Then the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersect B. All right, so let's think about this again. We have two events in S, and we're looking to, for the probability of their union. What we can do is find the probability of one, add it to the probability of the other, and then subtract off the probability of the intersection. So for a lot of students, this first part makes sense, and then they wonder, well, why are we subtracting off the intersection? All right, so let's look at this. What we're trying to get to is the probability of A union B, which is that shaded area. So, just drawing this again. If we look at the probability of A, that is this. And then the probability of B is this. And now we notice that we have shaded this intersection twice. And we don't want to count the intersection twice. We just want to count everything once. So what we can do is just subtract off the intersection. So that's the intuition for why the probability of A union B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of the intersection. Now let's look at the actual proof for this. All right, so let's start by just looking at the probability of A and looking at the probability of B. So for the probability of A, we can split A up into the part of A that intersects with B and the part of A that does not intersect with B, right? So visually, this is like looking at this A and looking at the part of it that does not intersect with B. So that's the stuff with the vertical stripes. And then the part that does intersect with B is that horizontal striped part. So it makes sense. The probability of A equals the probability of A intersect B plus the probability of A intersect B complement just because we can split A up into these two pieces, A intersect B and A intersect B complement. Exact same line of thought for the probability of B, that's equal to the probability of B intersect A plus the probability of B intersect A complement. All right, so nothing crazy happening yet. Let's go ahead and add these two things together. So then the probability of A plus the probability of B equals this right-hand side plus this right-hand side. So we have the probability of A intersect B complement plus the probability of B intersect A complement plus, and now we have two times the probability of A intersect B. All right, let's take a moment here to look at A intersect B complement, B intersect A complement, and A intersect B. So more pictures here. So A intersect B complement is that shaded area. And A intersect B is the shaded area. And then we also need B intersect A complement. So B intersect A complement is that shaded area. All right, so if we look at these pictures, it's obvious if we choose any two, choose any two of A intersect B complement, B intersect A complement, and A intersect B, and we'll see that they're disjoint. So for example, say we choose these two, a intersect B complement and B intersect A complement. So we have this picture and this picture. It's clear to see that this shaded area overlaps not at all with that shaded area. So in other words, these two sets are disjoint. And if we chose any two combos of these three, they would all be disjoint. So they're pairwise disjoint. Furthermore, if we look at the union of these sh three shaded areas, their union is A union B. All right. So what that means is we can rewrite probability of A intersect B complement plus probability of B intersect A complement 
plus one of these probability of A intersect B. We can rewrite that as probability of A union B. So we're taking this, this, and then one of these and rewriting it as probability of A union B. And then finally, we still have one of these left over, so we write plus probability of A intersect B. All right, so now we can see, if we just rewrite this a little bit, probability of A union B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of the intersection. And that is exactly what we're trying to prove, so now we're done.